<laughs> well, base, I'm not sure I'll be streaming for much longer, friend. Uh, it's actually getting late, and Twitch actually has to perform a maintenance tonight, so I don't think I have much time at all. But uh, we'll see, man. Hey, what's up, Tom Gun? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, no problem, Coco. I hope it works out for you, man. Every single pad is different. Especially when you get to that point where it does, it feels like it's harder to do dragon punches. You simply just gotta press it harder. It's just getting worn out a little bit. What is the what is the thing to do with Jago against the Solar Eclipse? Well, Coco, there's there's three things that you have to watch out for. When when Saber Wolf has meter, try your best not to jump in on any Saber Wolf. A great Saber Wolf will look and and find every opportunity to punish any jump with a, with a Shadow Eclipse. Uh, another one is. When you get knocked down, you gotta be prepared if if he is the kind of Saber Wolf that likes to dash behind you the moment you get up and do a Shadow Eclipse. You have to get ready to block to the other side. But the only way to tell is to see what kind of Saber Wolf they are if they, and, and then you'll be able to read it. Um, another one is if you flat out block a Shadow Eclipse, you can either Shadow Counter it, but I recommend just doing a Forward Roundhouse because you can just punish with a Forward Roundhouse. You don't have to use meter. You can save your meter uh, after the forward roundhouse to do a shadow move and then it'll be more worth it more damage what's up legal ma nice Hey Juggernaut, how's it going, man? Ooh, very great, very nice. Ooh. Be right back, guys.
second, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. We're almost at level 40. I think we might just call it the moment we get to rank 40 and then we can all finally realize that I've played this game so much to the point where now I've reached rank 40 four damn times. <laughs> I don't know about you, Gold Man, but that does sound cocky. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. We're almost there. What's my favorite KI theme song? Uh, from the new game or from the old school KI? Which one? Sell my accounts. <laughs> The new Jago Jago's theme is my favorite. Hands down. Jago theme is my 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 favorite theme of, of the new killer instinct. And then second place we have to come full gore. Full gore's theme. 
It's just so fucking epic, man. Why do you always whip that overhead on wake up? That okay, P Polo Playa. That's that's a very very excellent question that you brought that up. The reason why I whip the overhead is because of the fact that the other character is not quick rising. Every time you get knocked down by certain attacks, you can press down, and you your character gets up a lot faster. No, the thing is the reason why I do it that early is because I'm trying to catch them every time they quick rise. That way I can keep applying pressure. The reason why people quick rise is so that way they can try to escape pressure and uh, that way they can kind of start their own game immediately. And it usually catches a lot of people off guard if they're not, if they're not prepared for it. Every time I whiff the overhead, it just means, okay, he's getting up a little bit later. At least I can walk up to him now, you know? Sometimes you can actually just wait and then do an overhead, but sometimes they'll quick get up and then you'll miss that opportunity. Hey, what's up, Wonton? Uh, negative. Not yet, Ton. Not yet. I'm, I haven't even actually thought about it yet, <laughs> to be honest. So, one of these days, I will. And it's probably gonna be... It's probably gonna be one of the most undesirable days, because the more I wait, the more... Uh, the more flight... The more expensive flights and hotels will be. I'm pretty sure there's no more hotel rooms in the Las Vegas... Uh, uh, the official, like, Evo Hotel. I'm pretty sure there's no more rooms, so... That sucks. So we'll see. <laughs> Although for MLG, me, I, I did pick up a competitor pass and a spectator pass for uh, Mrs. Grimm's, but we still have yet to uh, plan out any of the flights or anything like that it's like honestly that stuff always comes like much later in our minds because we're just like okay we don't have the money right now we're gonna see what we can do to save up and try to get something pretty good you know like a good deal you know all that stuff oh nice <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best, Coco. MLG is at uh, June twentieth to twenty second, I believe. I believe it's it's that. And and I've gotten the tickets already, but we I've yet to make any plans for the, the flight and hotel. The only, excuse me. The reason why I, I I pushed on getting the tickets early is because if you do not get them early. They get super expensive. More expensive than any other major tournament I've ever been into. Like, literally, it, it jumps up like $20 a pop if you if you don't get it within the time limit. And it sucks. The emergency, emergency, like, ticket registration costs like $120. Like, holy shit, you know? <laughs> hey, what's up, Chacha? -cha? By the way, guys, if you have not checked out... If you guys are really into the horror games, like especially the one that we did a long time ago that uh, um, that con artist sent us, Chacha does a really nice. Uh, she has a really nice stream where she plays Outlast. I'm not sure if she's finished with it, but holy crap, the reactions are priceless. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, go ahead and check out her stream. Oh my God, we're on the moon, Dorito Ninja. We're on the moon. Holy crap. Oh, sorry, my bad. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit him. Wait, wait, wait. Dorito, we must dance. We must dance. We must dance. We must dance off the moon. Uh, the moon lag. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, 